hi guys and welcome back to another video i haven't gotten ready in like a week so it's so weird to see myself like this i'm like oh that's what you look like but today i'm gonna be spilling the tea on small direct club so i'm just gonna be talking about my journey um everything that i went through and just to help you guys out let me just talk about my teeth and why i even wanted to do small direct club and yeah so like the reason why i did it and why i wanted it so growing up my teeth were always a really really big insecurity for me um so when I was in the fifth grade, I was like in, in this incident in gym class and long story short, half of my tooth broke off. Like I literally blacked out. Like I don't remember the time I got hit to the time I was in the nurse's office. So yeah, and I just had half a tooth missing. So and I'll show you guys that. And that also comes <clears throat> into a, uh, like comes into play like with my treatment and like how everything went down but um yeah so and then after I got my tooth fixed I still had you know big insecurities I had not crooked teeth all of my teeth were pretty straight um and I'll include like photos for you guys like as I'm talking I'm gonna move over just so there can be photos but um yeah so i had lots of spacing no crooked teeth my bottom teeth were dang near perfect um but my bite was also a big issue and although smile direct claims to not fix your bite mine definitely got fixed um <laughs> and not perfect and not 100 percent um this is what they're looking like now and that's just like an awkward smile like um and I had a really bad overbite. So when I smiled, you couldn't see my bottom teeth at all. Like if I did this, they would be completely covered by my top teeth. So, you know, being big in the beauty industry and like talking to women every day and even getting in front of the camera or like taking photos, like I was just always so insecure about my teeth. And people would tell me all the time, oh, your teeth are fine. Like they're perfect and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, I don't feel like that they are, I want to do something about it. So growing up, I always told my mom, I want braces, I want braces. And it was like through insurance, like they would have to like add it on or something. And my mom always forgot to like add the orthodontic insurance. And my little sister had braces. So like, mom, why you play me? Um, totally kidding. But she paid a lot of money. For my little sister's braces so i think she ended up paying like seven thousand dollars for my little sister's braces and she had them on for like over three years i don't like the backstory and like why i got braces so i you know after trying to get them for so many years my mom just forgetting to add the insurance and like finally like go through with everything i was like you know what i've heard of smile direct club i didn't know anyone that had done it personally um so before i even like ordered my impression kit i went on youtube and i was like watching videos and honestly like i was kind of freaked out <laughs> like i saw a lot of people saying that like they um like were really scratchy they hurt they had to like file them with a nail file and i was like that just seemed so strange to me but okay um and i saw people saying that their teeth fell out um crazy stuff and i didn't experience any of that i had a really good experience actually so um after i did like my research and saw a lot of people saying that they wouldn't do it i looked at the price and i was like i'm gonna do it so and you know no judgment no hate like we're all on some kind of budget you know whether you can afford braces whether your parents pay for your braces um we're all on a budget okay okay that's why i did smile direct club um so i then uh, went on their website and 
I ordered the impression kit. So I think it was like $50, but I ended up finding the code and only paid $24. <laughs> so then I got that in and doing the impressions wasn't bad, honestly. And I used to have um, film, like I filmed me doing that, but I lost the footage because of my last phone was terrible, just terrible. Um, but yeah, so basically like you get these trays and you have to do two of the top and two of the bottom and in, if you don't do it right, they send you another one. So that's what ended up happening to me. I didn't do the bottom right because I didn't get the back of my teeth very well. So they made me do it again. And like you have to like mix this putty and like put it in the thing and then it just hardens up. And it's honestly pretty cool. It was a fun experience. Really, like anytime you get a package from Smile Direct Club, they send you like a little pamphlet. I don't think I kept the one from the impression kit, which sucks because I would have been able to like really explain to you guys how that goes down. Um, but I have everything else I kept from them. Um, but yeah, the impressions there weren't bad. They don't taste like anything. Um, you'd like have to leave it in your mouth, I think for like five minutes. So it like makes the mold or whatever. Um, what else? Yeah, and then you send it back. You have to take pictures of your teeth and they send you this thing called a smile stripper. And I have like literally three of these. Like they sent it with both of the impression kits. And then when I got these, my aligners. Yeah, my aligners. And this is my retainer that I'm wearing. So I have finished my treatment. Um, so yeah, they send you this smile stretcher and it's basically like this thing. Or, uh, makes your mouth big. Um, so after I did my impressions, I then waited because they have to like get them in and they have to like make a 3D scan basically of what your teeth are gonna look like. And I can show that to you guys right now. So basically once you log into your dashboard, I'll include like a screen recording of me like showing you guys mine. But you'll find um, like your schedule, like it'll tell you when you're supposed to change your aligners. It'll tell you, um, so mine just says, congratulations, your transformation is complete. Um, then it'll say, see your future smile. And then like, once you click that, that's where you get that 3D model of what your teeth are gonna look like each month. So this is pretty cool. And you can see the before and then the after. And after yeah. you got your 3D model, whatever, it takes like maybe four to six weeks to get your big purple box that everybody gets. And I got one too, I just threw it out because it was just taking up space. But in that box, you get all of your aligners. So I did the six month treatment. You can do a 10 month treatment. So the difference between those is the six month treatment you have to wear them for 22 hours a day. You can only take them out when you're eating and drinking. And then with the 10 month treatment, you only wear them at night when you're so sleeping. So in that box, you get a bunch of cool stuff. So you get this, which is your invisible aligner guide. You get this little tool. So this, I honestly did not use it literally ever. <laughs> So they call this the Audi tool and I can show you how to use it. So if you like can't get your retainer or liners out, you just, that was gross, I know, but that's basically how you use it. I never use it. And you get, I just dropped it. You get these little like squishy things. I think they call them like chewy things. I'm not sure, I don't really know what it is. It looks like a very mini pool noodle. You get two of them, I lost the other one. But these are used for when you're switching to your new aligners, or I guess just when they're kind of tighter. Um, because when you're putting your new aligners in, obviously they're gonna be tight because you know each one is shifting your teeth. So instead of just like biting down on the plastic, you bite it and bite them into place with these. Um, so I definitely had issues switching my liners and them being very tight and, you know, using that and still like not being able to get them to secure and unfortunately like bending the plastic and then they just don't fit right. 
I definitely had that issue, but we're here. We made it. Your aligner thing, you get another one of these, so that would have been two or however many that you would have had by then. I have like a bunch of cute marketing stuff that they put in there. So I got this and there's like glue on it, but it says show off your smile moment. Show off your smile moment. Future web superstar, take your before photos now so you can show off your results later. And who knows, we may even feature them on our Instagram feed. So this is pretty cute. Um, and then it's just on the back telling you how you should take your photos and like to add, you know, tag Smile Direct Club, things like that. And they also include a whitening treatment. So I guess you can use whitening treatment at any point throughout your treatment. I just started it. So I did notice that my teeth got significantly much yellower throughout this treatment. I'm not sure how or why, but they did. Um, so then it's called the Bright On Treatment. And then this is what the little treatments look like. It's just a whitening gel and um, you just brush it onto your teeth. Gonna go through kind of this aligner guide with you guys. So this is just like a little blurb there, just welcoming to the club, blah, blah, blah. So, let me just show you guys a photo of what your box is gonna typically look like. So that's what it would typically look like. And then down here, there's like two compartments. There's this top compartment where everything came. Oh, I also got my retainer case, which is somewhere over there, which I don't feel like getting. But yeah, you also get the, ret oh, and I got that chapstick. I forgot, that chapstick, let me tell you, was like bomb. I used the entire thing, the entire chapstick. So yeah, so they included that, which is so awesome because your lips get so, so dry. So I guess like they knew that. I don't know, but that chapstick was awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, so they call those little pool noodle things chewies. And then down here in this bottom compartment is your aligner. So they come in like little packets like these. And then they're all like perforated together. So they like sit like this and you just pull off the next one. Um, so basically how my treatment went is say you're on month one, for the first week you wear your liner one week, the second week you wear it for one week, and then the third week you wear that set for two weeks. So it'd be one week, one week, two weeks. Does that make any sense? That's how all of mine went. So I wear one, one, then wear the third one for two weeks. And it's really awesome because on here it tells you, you know, month four, week one. You only wear that for one week. And then, you know, it would say month four, week two, or and then like this one says month five, month five, weeks three and four, you wear this. So it's pretty cool. I really like their marketing. They're super cute. They're super like very like focused on their brand, um, which honestly doesn't really matter. It's more matters about your teeth, but um, so then it says using your aligners, make sure to wear your aligners all day and night. Your box contains all of your aligners. Wear the first set for one week, the second for one week, and the third set for two weeks. Repeat the cycle each month. That's just what I was talking about. Um, and then it says to only take them out when you're eating and drinking and only pull out one set at a time and they give you a little sticker to like hold them in place. So it says every time you, you know, put your aligners in, you special wash your hands, brush and floss your teeth, which I did like you, them things can stink for real. Like I'm just being honest, they get really stinky. Um, so you wanna make sure you brush your teeth and them like every day and floss every we well, are supposed to be doing that so like just be on point with it like i've brushed my teeth multiple times a day so obviously when you're switching week to week they're gonna be tight and that's just because they are aligning your teeth um so sometimes there right here is things that you could have issues with so i'm just gonna read them to you um, they're cutting into your gums. So I have had that happen. Like I've had my like underneath get cut. I've had like my gums be hurting. So what I did is I bought this dental wax for braces. Um, so when I saw that and like the edges can be like jagged, people would like file them. I just was like, I'm not tampering with them. I'm just gonna like cover like the parts that hurt with this wax. And this honestly, 
really saved me a lot. I think this was only like two bucks and I bought two packs and you see how they both come with like two. I bought a whole nother one. I, I didn't even finish using the first one of these. So I have like a whole extra one. It says that they feel too loose. So basically they're just saying, make sure you have the right ones in. Um, yeah, and then it says, what's with the lisp? I really honestly didn't have a lisp that much, but sometimes I might when I say S, S, I don't know. Um, and then pain, it says it's perfectly normal to experience pain and discomfort. Um, and if you don't feel any discomfort, like that's okay too. Like sometimes I've had retainers that hurt like hell, like to the point where I want to cry and like I have to take Tylenol. And then I've had ones that felt like he feel all strange and stuff. It says they may feel a little strange. That's normal. They're being gently moved with each set of aligners you wear. Um, yeah, I mean, my teeth have definitely felt like different and weird, like not like I felt before, but I guess like they said that your teeth are moving. <laughs> can I eat with my aligners in? No, that would be gross. And you can only drink cool water with them. You can sleep with them. You cannot smoke with them because they'll stain. Obviously, you can't chew gum with them because they'll get stuck to the aligners. And I have broken my aligners, but after I was finished with them. So I like pulled them out of my bag like when I was done and like they are cracked. Um, but it said that that could happen too. So after 90 days of your treatment, they ask that you check in and you send photos and that's just so they can make sure that you're on the right track, that you've been wearing your liners. And also there's a benefit to checking in is you get a club warranty. Um, so if you know you've worn your liners, you've done everything they're you know you're supposed to do, you've taken the photos, um, you get this warranty that at the end, if you're not satisfied, that they will fix it for you. Really cool is they put the little you know reminders for the warranty on the you know retainer pack. So when you pull it out, you're like, oh, gotta do that to make sure like I'm good with the warranty. So this says, has it been 90 days already? Look out for an email reminder in the next few days to check in with your doctor and keep your club warranty active. So this is a cool reminder and you take the photos with that smile stretcher. Then the aligner guide goes into do's and don'ts for your retainers and, or the aligners, sorry. If I say retainers, I mean aligners, whatever. It's all kind of the same. So the do's, it says, protect your liners from the sunlight, hot cars, toaster ovens, hair dryers, space heaters, blow torches, supernovas, and other sources of excessive heat. See, they're kind of like funny, like with the marketing, which I, I like that. Like I like that they like really try to interact with the consumer. And then it says, keep your liner stored safely away from pets or children when you're not wearing them. That's what the case is for. You care enough about your smile to make it straight and bright, so make sure it's healthy too. Get regular dental checkups and cleaning so your teeth and gums stay healthy. Remember what mom always said, don't put that in your mouth without washing it. Clean your aligners before putting them in each time. Brush and floss your teeth before putting your aligners in. Store your aligners in your case. So that's what all the do's were. Now all the don'ts are, don't use sharp objects to remove your aligners. Put that butcher knife down and use your Audi tool. Oh God, who would do that? What the heck? Don't wrap your liners in a napkin or paper towel because next stop, trash can. Don't use hot water to clean your liners. Don't put them in the dishwasher. Who? Honestly, I can't believe like they have that rule. Like, has somebody done that? Did you do that? Okay, don't use denture cleaner on your liners or soak them in mouthwash since this can damage or discolor them. Don't wear aligners while eating or drinking. Don't bite your aligners into position. This can damage your aligners and your teeth. Use your chewies instead. It's talking about the club warranty. So it's saying that basically if you follow the guidelines within 30 days, you can continue with the smile that you love. So it'll continue to help you with that. So basically the only four things you have to do to keep the club warranty active is wear them all day and night without except eating and drinking check in with small direct club for reminders when to change them out respond to the photos within 90 days for the 90 day check-in um keep your smile from shifting back by purchasing purchasing a retainer set so i did all of that and then here's why retainers are a good idea so i guess you can go through this whole thing and not even buy retainers which i think 
they should be included they're an extra 99 dollars um but like i already felt my teeth shifting like if i have them out too long when i'm eating like i feel them shifting so like you do need the retainers like they are essential like i feel like you can't do this whole treatment without them you get your retainers you'll wear them for the first two weeks like all the time just like your aligners and then after that you only wear them to sleep and then you change them out every six months to keep them fresh. and it says you can have an automatic delivery every six months for only 89 dollars, so it'd be ten dollars cheaper i didn't know that i did not know that the bright on treatment this is just basically pretty easy so you get four of these little things and it says brush your teeth before you use your bright on pen don't floss remove the cap twist from top to bottom blah 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 and then brush it on your teeth let it sit for five minutes spit it out and don't rinse it um and then you just basically keep using them all until they're empty and it says that it helps remove years of tough stains in one week three times faster faster to use than strips and it is an enamel safe whitening agent used by dentists so i must say when using these versus the white strip so i've used the crest whitening strips and my teeth let me tell you the worst aches and pains of my life to the point where i want to cry and with these i haven't experienced that at all and they have been whitening my teeth and let me just show you a few of the other retainer packs that had like these reminders on them so this was month five weeks three and four it says it's time to order your retainers order your retainers now to get them within two to three weeks and keep your club warranty active and then this one says month five week one so that was out of order but it says you've hit the home stretch fellow grinner keep up the good work you'll have the smile you love before you know it and this is what the well here's the like perforated piece that you pull off but this is what your retainer one will look like when it comes in individually what we have to go through now is the retainer guide Oh, so this is like a cool like pull out thingy so it says wear them all day for the first two weeks only taking them out with eating and drinking wear them after about two weeks wear them at night refresh every six months and then it has do's and don'ts and it's a little, the same do's and don'ts as your regular aligners but then it says there's like a little like Q and A and it says, how are retainers different from aligners? Retainers are made out of thicker 0.76 millimeters of thermoplastic, <laughs> a long P word and built to keep your teeth from moving back together into their original position. They last up to six months. So that's very true. That's the first thing I noticed is that they were noticeably thicker than the aligners why can't i just wear my last set of aligners our aligners are made out of specific plastics designed to gently move teeth and they're not built for long-term use they will eventually crack which is true because i have that happen um do i have to get a new re new retainer every six months we suggest you do while you can clean them they will start to get dirty and degrade over time just like your toothbrush or socks also replacing them keeps the plastic strong and your smile in Please. that's it for everything that i went through for this treatment um i would say i had a pretty positive treatment i'm very happy with the results although i think i'm going to um you know message them about this area here so i'll show you guys right now what my teeth are looking like so i will take my aligners out and get a close and personal so sorry that gets spitty so this is what my teeth are looking like without my aligners should i put the smallest tree? <laughs> okay so let me first point out the problem areas so there's I don't know if it'll focus or not, but there, that's my sad tooth. And honestly, I've always had issues with it, like hurting and being super sensitive. And I got it done seven years ago. And it's about that time to get it redone because it's so small. Like 
it's definitely like worn down a lot over the years and it's not the same size as that tooth so this is my good tooth so you can see how it doesn't really align like it's just a missing length um but i just need to get it redone uh, and I don't know how that'll work with my retainers. I don't know if I'll have to do another like impression so they can make me new retainers that fit. I don't know how that's gonna work. But then my other problem area was here. This is where I had the worst spacing. Like I could literally like fit my tongue in between here, here and here and cover that tooth up completely. Like I could literally fit it in there and it was just, I hated it and I hated like laughing and smiling and like I'm very an animated person. I'm always like ha 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 and like laughing with my mouth wide open and like a big double chin. <laughs> but that's just how I laugh. Um but yeah, this is how they're looking. Even my bottom teeth are so straight. It's crazy. So, I mean, and like it now compared to where it was, even like the whole top row was just so much facing and I just, I, did, I didn't like it. I hated it and I was very insecure about it. And I was very, very insecure about laughing, like, you know, belly laughs and like, just like having my mouth wide open. And that's a weird thing to be insecure about. Well, I would say that I had a pretty positive experience with Smile Direct Club and 10 out of 10, I would recommend it. Um, but like, like the disclaimer, if you have like severely crooked teeth, I, I would not recommend it. Um, it won't fix them 100%, I've definitely seen that. Um, but like if you know you have like moderate crooked teeth here and there maybe like one like snaggle tooth <laughs> if you have spacing like if spacing is your main issue and you have like gaps 100 percent do it it'll close your gaps and i promise you um all mine are closed and like the funny thing is is like i never had to worry about like food getting stuck in my teeth and now i'm like Ugh. like i have I have that feeling that there's something in my teeth. Like, I never had to worry about that before. So that's like one thing that now I have to worry about, but I love my teeth. Like, I think they look so good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I could literally look at my teeth all day. But, and I will include like actual photos for you guys. And I have to take new, like I have to take after photos because I took photos with my last liner set, but I haven't taken photos like now that I've completed them and started the wedding treatment. <laughs> yeah. But if you guys have any other questions for me, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to make another small direct video. No, I'm not being paid. They don't know who I am. I paid for this all myself. Oh, I didn't even talk about pricing. Small direct club and my whole treatment. I think I paid 1700 something i don't know exactly um and i paid that out flat because i think if you paid the 1700 out flat like you got that discount and then if you like did it monthly i think it was like 89 dollars a month and it was like 1800 so 1700 versus seven thousand dollars like i could never i cannot and to get this result like guys it's so worth it like for sure happy with it and a lot of people ask me like does it hurt blah 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 but like of course it hurts like they're moving your teeth <laughs> like traditional braces hurt so these are gonna hurt as well all right guys that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something i hope you might you know take that step and fix your teeth and fix the thing that's gonna make you feel better because i definitely think that having my new teeth has definitely gave me a whole new level of confidence and i don't regret it at all like ow like this is my teeth without i love them so 
yeah, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys want to see next and like, comment, subscribe to you girl. We're gaining new subscribers every single day and I can be more thankful. And I'll see you guys in another freaking video. Mwah.